Some stories just write themselves, and this one we have a socialist who has been arrested for burglary and trespass. And can you blame him? He's a socialist. He probably thought it was his house and his property. And this one goes one step further because it was the mayor who was charged with burglary and trespass. And he is the mayor of a place called South Fulton, Georgia. His name is Khalid Kamu. We're going to take a look at the story here. But a little bit of background on this guy because he is another historic figure in one of America's cities. This is his name over from South Fulton, Georgia. You see it's Mayor Khalid Kamau. And when they give us a little bit of the bio for him, you can see it tells us that it is America's first Black Lives Matter organizer who's been elected to public office. Wow. Mayor Khalid, pronounced Khalid, is leading a generation of young activists from protest to politics. The self-proclaimed elected activist has been featured by CBS, The Nation, Governing Magazine, and others. And with a population that is 92% African American, South Fulton, Georgia is now the blackest big city in America. Khalid is in a mission to make America's blackest city black on purpose, which means that a city that is not just unapologetic about its demographics, but moving on purpose to be a laboratory for economic, housing, and restorative justice policies aimed at improving the lives of African Americans. All right, and so that's Khalid Kamau, and that is the mayor of South Fulton, America's blackest city, and apparently he has been arrested for two charges, burglary and trespass. And we have questions about this because, of course, everybody deserves the presumption of innocence when they are charged with crimes, and everybody deserves due process and equal protection under the law. And sometimes people do have mental breaks. People just lose it. And we want to give people grace and understanding when they go through breakdowns and give everybody the presumption of innocence and allow the courts to work through these and give everybody, you know, a little bit of, of the benefit of the doubt that we would all want if we were charged with a crime. And so we ask ourselves, is that the case here? Well, more from the story comes over from 11 Alive, which is exactly where this news story comes from in Georgia. And they tell us that the city of South Fulton is now releasing the mayor on bond. Order states where he burglarized the homes. More information on this. They tell us that he was arrested and the office has confirmed the arrest, adding that he was taken to jail. The office specified that the mayor was arrested by the police department and not the other county deputies. Records from the office show that he was taken into custody on two charges, criminal trespassing and burglary in the first degree. $11,000 bond that he did post, according to jail records, gotta stay away from the home, must also undergo mental health evaluation due to circumstances of the warrant, but not much more details on the specifics of the crime. Said it's gonna be business as usual when City Hall opens. We're gonna continue following the charter. But there have been few controversies around this. In February, this guy vetoed police bonuses. They were gonna give them to the cops back in 2022. In June, city officials asked him about his credit card use. Hmm, socialist with his credit card use. I mean, it's government money, isn't it his? Kamu asked the Georgia Bureau Investigations to investigate the city council. Later, five city council members filed a lawsuit to get him out of office. The city manager resigned and the mayor's Easter egg hunt was shut down in April. And just last month, an online petition surfaced to de-annex a part of South Fulton. A statement from the city was released saying, well, we're committed to upholding the law and ensuring that all individuals, regardless of their position, are subject to the same fair treatment and just treatment. The investigation is still ongoing. And so it's just an amazing story. Now, more on this from the New York Post. The mayor was held at gunpoint after breaking into a lake house, allegedly, and apparently told them when he walked in there, do you know who the F I am? Arrested. Victim saying that he was yelling at him. Do you know who the F I am? 6.52 a.m. on Saturday, homeowner called the cops and a trespasser is in my home. Victim said he's on the phone with the police. Kamu was yelling at him several times. Do you know who the F I am? I'm the mayor and I'll wait for my police to get here and see what happens then. Kamu has declined to comment on the incident. Instead, he praised the South Fulton Police Department he said, I do want to thank the Fulton Police Department and their staff for their professional service, he told reporters. Later left jail, Mayor told officers he was on his way to a dog park when he stopped by the house, claiming it was his dream home and he had hopes of purchasing it one day. He admitted to the police that he was aware that he was trespassing on the property, okay, and that he believed the home was abandoned. So now we get rid of that maybe mental breakdown defense. 
The homeowner, not been publicly identified, said that when he saw the mayor walk up his driveway and approach the lake house, he rushed to get dressed and called the police. The owner of the home then approached Kamu, held him at gunpoint until the cops showed up, warning the mayor to stay put. He says, no, MFR, you stay right there. This is the home. Kept his eye on the lake house, showed up there, wanted to poke around. Mayor claimed that he apologized to the homeowner and explained who he was when the homeowner warned him to wait for the cops. Kamu allegedly responded, are you going to shoot me while I'm walking away? The mayor was charged with criminal trespass and first-degree burglary, booked into Fulton County Jail. Officials said the investigation is ongoing, no further details, other than we're just committed to upholding the law and ensuring all individuals are subject to the same fair treatment. It's just an amazing story because, obviously, a socialist may just believe that the property is his, especially when he becomes mayor. I mean, isn't that one of the benefits of becoming mayor, if you are a socialist? Doesn't that mean you control everything? Don't you know who I am? And so it's one of the most perfect stories. And this guy has a long litany of other problems coming down the pike in his jurisdiction. Sounds like it's a total disarray, but that's about what you'd expect when you're a bona fide socialist. Everything is yours. Mm -hmm.